Hello and welcome again to The Bigger Deal. Here's our first three-minute insight. Very early in life, you'll have to learn how to communicate. In order to matter in what you do, you have to be able to transfer your thoughts to other people. You have to be able to stand up and speak. And you have to be able to make other people pay attention. Sadly, most of us get this horribly wrong. Our education confuses us, as does the example of other people. So, suppose you have to communicate a good chunk of information to a group of people. How will you go about it? The chances are that you will write a long speech, covering all the points, capturing all the information, and then proceed to stand up and read it all out. Occasionally looking up to see if your audience is still there. Or if you're a bit more digital, you will probably prepare a PowerPoint presentation, very professional. It will have 70 slides, and they'll all be full of text, data, and graphics in a horrible mashup. And you will proceed to read every word on every slide. Could I please ask you to do neither of those two things? Human beings don't communicate like that. You're not being professional, you're just being boring and incomprehensible. And in today's over-communicated world, full of mobile distractions, your chances of keeping anyone's attention are approximately zero. So, how should you communicate? First, keep it short, really short. Less is more. Second, stick to the very small set of points you really need to make. Make those and explain them. Third, if you really need to use slides, use just five. Use great imagery, very few words. That's it, you can give them the rest to read later. Last and best, don't do any of that. Just talk to your audience, naturally, like a human being. Show them, persuade them, charm them. That's actually how it's done. See, I just did it, in less than three minutes. Goodbye. Bye.